All right, this is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 15. And uh, we're going to be given a floor plan. And our task is to find the area of all those rooms in this floor plan. Now, the thing about this is, uh, you know, Engage New York being a new product, it's gone through various uh, iterations, and, you know, they're always finding some mistakes. So i got to tell you, my first copy of this problem Man, when I tried to measure these dimensions of these rooms with a ruler, nothing was working out. And it turns out that's because my version that I originally had of this page has since been updated. So the screen you're currently looking at is, my, is the most recent up-to-date copy. So if you are a teacher or a parent and you're frustrated because you're not getting the right answers, it is possible that you're using an older, un, uh, unimproved version uh, where they didn't quite fix all of these dimensions. So um, first thing, you know, just the, the point is to help your students understand that in order to find the area of this rectangle, let's say, er, uh, rectangle number two, uh, we're going to measure each of the side lengths, and then multiply. That's the point of this lesson. So if the measuring gets in the way, uh, don't we don't want tears, we don't want any crying, just help the students maybe round to the nearest centimeter and then uh, for each of the dimensions, the each of the side lengths, and then multiply. And, um, and that's okay, that'll be enough. So what I've done is I don't have a ruler because this is electronic, but I do have some centimeter graph paper that I have calibrated to be the right right size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this, um, and this is really kind of realistic. Uh, you'll notice uh, right here, this is not a full centimeter. So when I line up my, uh, whoa, when I line up my um, uh, ruler on my shape, Let's see. Uh, I am not going to line it up with the edge. For example, if I want to measure um, rectangle number one here, uh, I'm not going to line it up on the edge. Instead, I need to go in one, and then I can see that my measurement is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can see that it is six centimeters going across. And then, same way, when I line it up, I'm not going to line it up with the edge. I'm going to go up for a complete centimeter, and then I can see that this is one, two, three, four centimeters going down, and so the area of number one is six times four, which is twenty-four. So I can see that this rectangle, number one, is the bathroom. And then and we're going to con just continue in this fashion. I'm not going to do them all, um, but let's do one last one. Let's do measure two, uh, circle, I mean, uh, rectangle, number two. And let's measure this bottom side length right here, this length down here first. So I'm going to get my little centimeter graph paper, and I'm going to line it up. And then I'm going to, maybe I could zoom in even. Let's see if what happens if I zoom in. Ooh, look at that. I can zoom in. And then I can count. And we can see that we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 9 centimeters going across. 9 centimeters going across. And then uh, let's go way over here. And I'll line it up right here. And then I can count that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 centimeters going up and down. And so, uh, using our area, we know the rule. The rule is to multiply those two lengths. And so for number two, we can see that it's 9 times 5, which is 45. And that makes it the kitchen. All right? And, and that's what is, uh, this problem is all about. Using a ruler, or in my case, centimeter graph paper, and measuring the dimensions of each of these rectangles, and then multiplying. And that is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 15.